Erev Tov Lichulam. Good evening, everybody. You would like to start the evening? Let's have some quiet. Thank you. Well, welcome, everybody, and thank everybody for coming here this evening. Before we start, I'd like to remind everybody to turn their phone on when they leave this event. Thank you very much. Uh, we at Geffen Publishing House have been publishing for the past 36 years a variety of books that deal with the Jewish people, with Zionism, with Holocaust, and any other aspect that, de that deals and helps Jews and Israel. When I met uh, uh, Mr. Herzog, Yitzhak Herzog, in the United States at one of the conferences, and we started talking, his first question was, do people still buy books? Can you make a living off of it? So I didn't tell him then, but the name of the company, Geffen, stands for Gesund Parnusa Naches. So we came here today for the Parnusa. You can come for the Naches, it's okay. The, the book that you will hear about today, I think, is a very important book to understand different aspects of both Judaism, the Jewish people, Israel, and the whole process. I would like to first thank everybody who has come and thank everybody who has helped us organize. Uh, first and foremost, I'd like to uh, thank the Irish ambassador, the, the Irish ambassador, and all the staff of the embassy. Really, it's an honor for us to be here. And we know you probably have many requests to come here of different people. And we really appreciate the fact that you have led us here. We will start right away, and I'd like to introduce Ambassador Alison Kelly. She is the ambassador of Ireland, as you all know. And she will say a few words to greet everybody here. Thank you very much. Welcome, everybody. Uh, I'm absolutely delighted to see so many of you here this evening. Uh, but most particularly, Buji, M.K. Herzog, Mikhail, members of the extended Herzog family. There are a good few of you around the place here, and I uh, won't go into all the names. We're really thrilled uh, to host this event. We're very, very proud of our links to Israel through Rabbi Herzog, whose life and memory we're celebrating here this evening with the publication of this book. Rabbi Herzog lived in Belfast from 1915 to 1918, and then in Dublin for almost 20 years, until he was appointed the first chief rabbi of Israel recognition of his tremendous leadership skills and we actually have somebody with us this evening Gershon who knew Rabbi Herzog in Dublin at that time and it's a it's a wonderful honor and a great link uh, link with the past the period that Rabbi Herzog lived in Ireland encompassed the most exciting and turbulent years in Irish history of the 20th century the 1916 rising, followed, following which we achieved independence. He supported and indeed sheltered freedom fighters, including future Taoiseach, that's the Prime Minister of Ireland, and President Eamon de Valera, a man who was really uh, fundamental to Irish history and politics um, in the 20th century. Their friendship lasted for the rest of their lives. De Valera greatly valued the wisdom of Rabbi Herzog and his opinions as the new Irish state developed politically and economically. And of course this co coincided with all the efforts to uh, establish the state. Uh, um, this coincided with all the efforts to establish the state of um, Israel. It was from Rabbi Herzog that, that then Taoiseach de Valera first heard of the Holocaust 
and uh, made efforts then to uh, receive some uh, Jewish refugees. <laughs> Sorry. Links continued after Rabbi Herzog's departure and he was influential in bringing a hundred Jewish children from Central Europe to Ireland in 1948 and we're very honoured to have one of them here this evening, Lily. <laughs> Rabbi Herzog also had great it's cultural amazing. reach. He hosted literary salons with the best of Irish writers, and he befriended people of all religions and walks in, of life in Ireland. He was very much loved and admired there, and is warmly remembered in and beyond the Jewish community. So I'm really honoured to host this event here this evening, Gucci, and uh, to uh, commemorate and uh, mark our close links, uh, Irish-Israeli links, and people-to-people -people contacts are, of course, what all of our relationships are about. And it's just wonderful to have so many people here this evening uh, who are part of the fabric of Irish-Israeli relations, but most especially the Herzog family. So thank you. Yeah. This event, the book of Rabbi Herzog you already have, I'd like to give you a gift that I think and I hope you'll appreciate. It's called My Jerusalem. Oh, it's a book that has some 45 stories, personal stories of different people from around the world about Jerusalem. I hope you enjoy it in the photography and thank you again very much for hosting us. Thank you very much. Thank you. For that. Before I introduce the author of the book, before I introduce the author of the book, I'd like to tell a short story of my personal connection to Ireland, which some of you will be surprised, but there is. Uh, my father, who happens to be here and is 91 years old, sailed ships from the United States to Europe and brought Holocaust survivors to Palestine in 1947. On their ship, most of the volunteers were Americans and most of them were Jewish. However, on his ship, on the Hatikva, there was one Irish guy, a Catholic Irish guy called Hugh McDonald. And he was an amazing guy. He felt that whatever good has to be done in this world, he has to do. He sailed the ship with them, came to Palestine, went back to the United States. At the end of the story is he married a Jewish woman, called his daughter Kineret. And when he passed away, he asked to be eulogized by a rabbi and buried with an Israeli flag. Oh, wow. And now, I'd like to introduce Mr. Maizelish, the author of the book. Uh, it's, uh, he, he has written the book in Hebrew originally. The book was translated, translated to English and he worked with us, along with us the whole time. So, Bakasha. Thank Ambassador Kelly, leader of the opposition, MK Yitzhak Herzog, who is named after the, his great and well-known uh, uh, grandfather, okay. Ilan and the staff of Geffen, publishers of the book, distinguished, distinguished guests. Rage here before a storm, a storm rage here, before the establishment of the State of Israel during the days of the British mandate the Holocaust and the great struggle for the existence of the Jewish people. One of the more prominent saviors of our people during those stormy day, uh, days was Rabbi Yitzhak Herzog, who showed tremendous courage and devotion to his people. In 1941, Rabbi Herzog sailed to journey to the United States of America, where he managed to meet with the President of the United States, Franklin Delano Roosevelt. He asked the President to rescue his Jewish brothers and bomb the extermination camps. But he failed. Rabbi Herzog left the meeting disappointed 
with sense of failure. Planning to return to Israel, he was warned by the British and the Nazis were standing, that the Nazis were standing at the gate of the Holy Land. Rabbi Herzog ignored the warning and returned home, replying that the prophets of Israel prophesied only two destructions <coughs> and not the third one showing that the same courage after the Holocaust, he saved hundreds of children from monasteries and churches. Many of the, of the priests and the nuns refused to reveal which of the children are Jewish. Rabbi Herzog shouted loudly, Shema Israel, the famous prayer, those children who respond, Hashem Elokeinu, Hashem Echad, were discovered as a Jew by Rabbi Herzog and returned to Israel on what was named Rabbi Herzog's children's train. Very exciting story. One of the children is here, Mrs. Roth. And would you bring the, the photo? Yeah, later. Okay. Rabbi Herzog uh, children train. Very few people know about uh, the role of the Jewish community and Rabbi Herzog, the chief rabbi of <coughs> Ireland, in supporting Ireland, war of independence, Brisco, de Valera, and all the other uh, figures. Rabbi uh, Herzog himself underwent interrogation and was asked whether he was a Catholic or a Protestant. <laughs> when he replied, I am a Jew, he was asked, yes, but are you a Catholic Jew? Or <laughs> <laughs> when I wrote the original uh, Hebrew version of uh, this book, President Chaim Herzog sat with me for days on end, reviewing letters, documents, and pictures. We even locked ourselves in a hotel in Tiberias, but every half an hour, another Mayo from the Galil would show there and interrupt us in the in the writing. I am I am so sad that President Herzog could not see this beautiful English version. But I am admit to Itzhak Herzog who does so much to commemorate his grandfather, his efforts to bring Rabbi Herzog to life so that the new generation in Israel and the Jewish world can be inspired by this great man, was Rabbi Herzog was a great scholar in all the branches of the Torah, a leader who know everything the, the Bavli Talmud and the Ju Jerusalem Talmud. It's a tremendous uh, uh, knowledge that I discovered. I am honored and humbled behind belief at the small part I play in commemorating his legacy. Thank you for giving, the, to, to giving me the opportunity to share this with you. I pray that we will Married future rabbinical leaders of Rabbi Elzo greatness. Thank you very much. To continue, <clears throat> thank you, Shaul. To continue the last words that Shaul said about Rabbi Herzog, I think really what he stands out was that he was a leader that knew how to bring all Jews together. Whereas I wish, and we all wish, I think, that today we would have many more leaders who would be able to put and bring together all the Jewish people. I think unfortunately today, I don't want to get into the political politics, but unfortunately today we are all fighting to show who is wrong instead of trying to see how we can continue building this country and how we can continue making this country all a goim, a light unto the nation. And I'll just mention one thing in the book on page 171 which I think is a crucial uh, 
contribution of Rabbi Herzog, the tefillah l'shalom hamedina, the prayer of the will for the welfare of the state of Israel. And I think when we read that tefillah every Shabbat, we understand who was the person, what was behind his thinking. And I think, that, as I said, I think his, I think it's Chak Herzog who is named after him is one of those leaders of the Jewish people who are continuing his way. And I can say personally, to work with him for the past year and a bit was a real pleasure. It was, we work with many authors, they're not so easy. Uh, Herzog was not an easy author, not an easy person to work with, but he was a mensch. And everything that needed to be done, uh, I'll mention one thing he talked to me about, our editor. He was very frustrated at how many changes she's making. And then he said, but you know what? She's so fantastic, I enjoyed every minute of it. <laughs> so, thank you very much, and I'd like to introduce now, without much introduction needed, Yitzhak Herzog. Thank you all, to Nava. I'll speak in English and then I'll say a few words in Hebrew at the end. First of all, our hostess, Ambassador <laughs> Kelly. It's a true honor and pleasure to be here at the Irish Embassy and especially to congratulate you for fostering and strengthening the relationship between Israel and Ireland and the heritage. And the, our family heritage is embedded with the history of Ireland. Uh, our family heritage is embedded in the history of Ireland. And Ireland was good for the Jews, and Ireland opened its gates in, in the more difficult periods of our history. And uh, gave my grandfather the ability to uh, create a huge impact as a young rabbi already when he started being the rabbi of Ireland. From Ireland to become chief rabbi of Eretz Israel is not an easy mission, but Ireland gave it to him, and especially the story of both Irish independence, which led him to understand what it is, it is to create a state and where is the religious role of religious leaders in the creation of a state which is a secular entity by being. So thank you very much. I want to mention my family who's here. My cousin Yitzhak also, he is the son of the late Dr. Yaakov Herzog. So he's Dr. Yitzhak Shai Herzog. And my cousin Elinora was the daughter of Yaakov Herzog as well. And there are immediate cousins. There are many other family members, but the book is dedicated to our beloved cousin Shira, the eldest sister of Yitzhak and Elinora. It was her dream to make this book come alive in English. And Shira unfortunately passed away uh, three years ago. And it was her dream, and she started working on the translation of the book, in fact, as this book was called Rabbanut Besarat Ayamim was published and written, as Shaul Meislich mentioned so eloquently, in the 1980s, and we hope to come again with a Hebrew edition again. I want to thank the publisher, Ilan Greenfeld of Geffen, and his team. He has an extraordinary team. I've never seen such professional work, and I said it to him and to his team. I want to thank Ktsia, who's here, who did an incredible work as the editor, and the rest of the group. And the book came out really beautifully. Toda raba, Ilan. Ilan, I met, as he said, in an event. I bumped into him in some a big Jewish event in America, and it, it was interesting to me. And I like the work you're doing. Thank you very much. I want to mention a few honorable people here who have a special story. We mentioned, first of all, Mr. Cooperman. So he's the only surviving guy here who met my grandfather in Dublin. He's wow. over, well over 90, wow. Wow. and I wish I'd be in your health over 90 as, <laughs> as such. Welcome. <laughs> and he's the father of Rabbi Cooperman, who's here from Keilat Ahavat Zion. He's the one near him, from Bet Shemesh. And they brought the Aron Kodesh and the Parochet and the Bima from the synagogue in Dublin, Adelaide Road, where my, where my father had his bar mitzvah, wow. made aliyah and created a beautiful, beautiful community, moderate and open and loving community in Bet Shemesh. So congratulations. Wow. Then we mentioned two Holocaust survivors who came out of Auschwitz, no less, Mr. Steiner and Mrs. Roth. 
And my grandfather saved them and brought them to Ireland, and from there they came to Palestine a year later. And it's a great honor for us that you're all here. Wonderful to see. And then, and then there's a guy here, I hope to see him, Moshe Moshkovitz. Moshko, you're here? Moshko Po? Voila. So Moshko was the founder of Masuot Yitzchak in 1948 in the Gush, 47, 1940, and was in, was in the battle, and my grandfather saved him and his colleagues in the battle of Gush Etzion and in the jail in Jordan. So I was happy he's also 93. So you see, we have something to strive for. <laughs> and finally, I want to say that the story of my grandfather was unique because my grandfather exemplified the tolerant Judaism open to all. He had a PhD in marine biology. He wrote it in 12 languages, including Chinese. He wow. did it in the Sorbonne in the University of London. He had a degree in philosophy, Mano Trachtenberg. You would have given him some awards. <laughs> he wrote so many articles and books, incredible books and articles. He took Judaism and codified it into Jewish law and other laws. He was both a statesman, as the, as the highest ranking Jewish elected official during the days of the mandate, and thereafter as the founder of the mixture that is so important to us, Yehudit with Democratic, Jewish and Democratic. And he understood it all. He wrote the draft of the Constitution, and he wrote so many piscadin on Agunot and Giyur, and all we have to say is, where are these rabbis today? And I hope there will come a time where the halachic leadership of Israel will be open and tolerant and brave to legislate after thousands of years of exile what needs to be done in a Jewish independent modern state. So I wish you all a uh, thank you for coming. Uh, we are very grateful. And may you enjoy this book. And finally, a special thanks to Rachel Greenbaum, who helped us arrange this event. <laughs> and to Alicia from the Irish Embassy, who helped us arrange this event. And to Dania from my staff, who helped us this event. And to all who contributed to this wonderful, exciting event. So, thank you to all. Before you turn your phones on, I'd like to mention, one of the most important ways for us to get this book out there is for every one of you, after you've read the book, of course after you've bought it, is to go onto Amazon and write a review. Because this is the way of life today. This is how we make revolutions today. And if we want the rabbis of today to read the book and to understand what Derech Eretz is and how they should be continue as rabbis and as leaders, we need to get it out there on Facebook and everywhere else. Uh, Itzhak Herzog will be autographing books here. So thank you very much for everybody that you came. Thank you for the embassy staff. Shalom.
Allez. Allez.